The Rack Show, geek culture at its best. You're the king of Yomacon. Tell us how that came to be. I need a longer setup. I just took a bite. Okay. Uh, it's a really bejeweled, encrusted crown. It has Yomacon pins up at the top, and you wear it very handsomely, sir. All right, thank you. There you go. So last year, on the Guests Against Humanity card competition, they decided the winner would be crowned the king of Yomacon. Okay. I won. True, I cheated, but I won. And You're John St. John. You just did what you needed to do to make it work. So I won the frickin' crown. I kept it dust-free, clean for a year. It's pretty shiny. See, it does look good, doesn't it? Really it really does. And whoever wins Cards Against Humanity tonight at 10 o'clock... Becomes the, the new crown. king or queen of Yomakai. Queen? Hey! Ki- women can be kings, too. Just no, saying. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, but they should get a tiara and I get to keep the crown, right? Uh, I, that makes sense to me. I think everybody who wins should keep their own... There should be multiple kings and queens of Yomakai. In my over opinion. the years, yeah. Yeah, over the years. Absolutely. I'm year one. Let's see who's going to be year two. You might have heard of, like, Duke freaking Nukem. And I'm a turkey eating motherfucker. Think That's of, uh, like, Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese robots. Chuck E. Cheese animatronic Play robots. and have a birthday. Five just, nights at just a little bit better than that. Never again will I ever downplay anything I did. <laughs>